Hey guys, Mr. P. In this video, we're going to talk about how to earn full marks on an IB exam by drawing an absorption spectrum for chlorophyll. So the first thing we want to do when drawing this absorption spectrum is we want to give ourselves a graph, or at least the axes, in order to then draw the absorption spectrum. The absorption spectrum is on a graph that we should title absorption spectrum, specifically for chlorophyll. And we need to label our axes as well. This is going to be our y-axis and it's going to be percent of absorbed light. So this is the amount in percentage of the light that is absorbed. And on the x-axis, this is going to be specifically our wavelength of light. And our visible light wavelengths are going to range from about 400 nanometers all the way to about 700 nanometers, with obviously 500 and 600 filling in those gaps. Okay, so we've got our percent of absorbed light between 400 nanometers and 700 nanometers. The next thing we need to kind of figure out or think about when drawing the absorption spectrum are the specific pigments that are going to be absorbing light. And so in this particular situation, we have chlorophyll A, we have chlorophyll B, and we have some accessory pigments like xenophils and anthocyanins and carotenoids. But because this graph is showing the absorption spectrum for chlorophyll, we're just going to focus on chlorophyll A and B. Now the first thing I like to do after we've kind of set up our entire graph is I like to uh, visualize what these numbers along this wavelength of light axis really means. And we know that the visible light spectrum is Roy G. Biv, meaning it ranges from red in the higher, okay, or the bigger wavelengths all the way to violet in our smaller frequencies. And so if we fill in these gaps, we know that yellow is roughly 600 nanometers, so we'll go ahead and put a Y. We know that green is roughly 550, so we can kind of put our G in right in this range. We know that orange is gonna be in between red and yellow, and then we know that blue, indigo, and then violet kind of range out towards the smaller end of the spectrum. If you look, you have Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. That would be the uh, colors associated with the, the visible light spectrum. And now we need to kind of focus on what specific frequencies these chlorophyll A and Bs really uh, absorb well. And so chlorophyll A um, is going to be the outside of the spectrum. So that's gonna be the dark blue and it's going to be the red, whereas chlorophyll B is going to be more the light blue and orange, okay? So we come in here and we kind of track chlorophyll A. It's going to spike over the really dark blue and then it's going to drop to about zero and then spike again over the red, okay? The blue spike will be higher than the red spike. When we come in with chlorophyll B, we're going to go over the blue, so it's gonna spike higher than chlorophyll A, over the blue, drop down to about zero, and then it's gonna spike again, but not quite as high over the orange before finishing out where chlorophyll A did. These would be the associated uh, lines, absorption spectrums of chlorophyll A and B. We can go ahead and label these as well. This will be chlorophyll B. This one will be chlorophyll A. And this would be all that is needed in order to earn full marks on your IB exam for the absorption spectrum for chlorophyll. If you learned something, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave your questions in the comments. See ya.